out with primer and I'm using the Bare Minerals Prime Time as per usual, just spreading this all over my skin. Then for foundation, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and I just mix those two together and I'm just using my Beauty Blender to press this all into my skin just to give me a flawless base. Then to cream contour, I'm taking the Model Co Contouring Stick and I'm just drawing some lines down my cheekbones and around my hairline and my temples just to carve out my face and I also take some down my jawline as well. I really, really love this product and it's super affordable so I would highly recommend it. And I'm just using my Damp Beauty Blender again to press everything out. Onto the eyes, I'm going to apologize in advance. Something wacky happened with my camera but I am starting out with Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek all over the eyes and then I'm taking Creme Brulee into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush. Um, so if anyone's ever had this happen to their camera, please tell me how to fix it because I am not happy about it. Um, and then I took Desert Sands right into the crease and just pretty much de deepened up the look. Then I'm using Americano on a MAC 217 and just focusing this in the outer V and bringing it right into the crease just to smoke everything out a little bit. And then taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in pure gold I believe and I'm just applying this all over the lid as a base. And then I just use a synthetic brush just to make sure it's sort of all blended out. Then I'm going in with this Sigma Loose Eyeshadow, it's like a beautiful metallic gold and I am using MAC Fix Plus on my brush and just applying this all over the lid, it is so beautiful, it's like foiled and just perfection. And then going back in with the Sigma E40 brush just to make sure all those edges are blended. Going in with a black liner, I'm just tight lining my eyes with this and then I'm going ahead and lining my top lash line just messily and then using my finger to smudge it out. This is just going to create a thicker looking lash line. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes and applying some L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then for falsies, I'm using the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes, which are super dramatic and super beautiful. I love these lashes. Then for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and then all down the center of my face to act as a highlight and just to conceal any other areas. And then once again, going in with my Beauty Blender just to blend everything out. You just want to use tapping motions and the Beauty Blender pretty much does it for you. Then using my Beauty Blender again and the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, I'm using the highlight shade to set those concealed areas and underneath my contour. And then I'm going in with the contour shade on my NARS Ida brush and I'm just carving out my cheekbones. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking it around my hairline as well, um, just to pretty much even everything out. And then using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea, I'm just bronzing up and giving my face a glow. Then for blush, I took the Balm's Hot Mama Blush, which I love super glowy and pretty and then for highlight I'm using Colourpop's Wisp and I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply this. The Beauty Blender is so multi-use so I'm using it for a million different things today and as you can see it works for so many different things so just applying this to all the usual areas and then setting everything in place using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Then going back in with Creme Brulee I'm just buffing this underneath the lower lash line and then again with Desert Sands, doing the same thing just to mimic what I've got on the upper lid. And then back in with the Sigma Pigment, I'm just going to apply this underneath the lash line. I'm keeping this sort of in the inner corners um, and the inner third. And then using Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer just to brighten up that inner corner a little bit more and highlight my brow bone. And then I took this Colourpop eyeliner in Get Paid, I think, and I am lining my waterline. And then just applying some lower lash mascara. Then for the lips, I'm using Colourpop's Aquarius Lip Liner and the Lippy Stick, so I'm just outlining my lips with this. I love this shade. So I'm applying the Lippy Stick all over the lips, 
Um, these are the shades that Kathleen Lights created with Colourpop, so obviously I love them. Um, and then going in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu to top it all off. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.